Okay, take three. Normally I do these videos in one take and I think I'm on 16, day 16, but I'm not sure. So I'm Laura um, Prather. I always forget to tell people that in my videos. I go by Micro Biz Chick on social media. Yes, I'm a business owner, you know, an entrepreneur, a writer, but I also love um, to teach people about operating in the kingdom of God. And so my videos are a mixture of a little bit of everything, just a lot of life lessons. Sometimes they're business tips. Um, but today I want to talk about um, how our business impacts other people, that we are not in business just for us. So today was a really good example, a good reminder to me. I was out at a coffee shop and visiting a, with people about some of the build, empty buildings in our area. And we have a wonderful little community out here. And there's always tons of rumors about why this building is empty and why that building is empty. But um, in this instance today, I got to learn um, some of the backstory and basically on, on two buildings. And uh, and it reminded me of the instance that I ran into several years ago where um, a place where I used to live. And I'm not gonna say where those places are, but they were all three the same. Uh, wealthy people owned businesses in prime, prime real estate in very small communities. And instead of taking care of the real estate that they have, they got greedy and said, we don't have to do anything about it because you're stuck. There's no other options here and I'm not gonna invest any money to make it better. And in the end, it ended up hurting the whole community. It it made, it, it was, uh, they were all, in all instances, three instances, they were eyesores. Um, the tenants were not treated well. It was overpriced, and in every all three instances, the owner didn't care, didn't care about, actually, I can think of four, and I'm sure it's everywhere. They just didn't care, and for me, my heart broke because um, we were looking at one of the properties right there. Prime could be a wonderful place. Offers have been made on it for people to come in and build up the community, offer something that would benefit our community. But the owner, um, at, their attitude was, I don't care if it stays empty till the day I die, so be it. And um, this owner had altered the price on it multiple times because uh, they found out that the person buying it had more money. So they were like, well, I'm just going to raise the price. And um, and that, and then said, I don't care. I don't owe anything on it. I don't care. And my heart broke because I thought as business owners, we should care. We should care about our clients. We should care about employees. We should come, we should care about the community. We should care about the people that we touch with our business instead of think it's just the bottom line. I don't care. Um, about the other stuff. And so it, it's not just business. It's about people. It's about community. It's not just us. It's not just the bottom line. It's about caring about the other people too. So I just want to encourage us. And, and to me, it was an encourage, you know, a challenge to think about my business. How can I go the extra step to make sure that the people around me know that I care, that, you know what, it might cost me a little bit more. Um, my profit margin might be a little bit less, but to make it the best experience that they could, I'm gonna invest in a little bit more. And in the short run, for people who say, well, I don't care, I don't have to do that. And um, in the short run, it might look like it's better on paper, but in the long run, it end up, it may end up costing them everything. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you tomorrow.